hello hello welcome back to a new fucking video bitches today we're gonna be talking about all things to do with bottle serving i've been bottle serving for a year now and i get questions left and right on how to get into certain clubs how to get into any clubs at all and like what the job entails tips for interviews just literally anything bottle service talk that's what we're gonna be discussing today <laughs> as a quick side note i mean I was like, man, where the fuck are your lashes? Well, um, I was sitting here and I was gonna go to sleep, rip those bitches off, and I was like, let me make this video really quick so I actually, like, you know what I mean, stick to my promises and stop self-sabotaging my own life. Anyways, so yes, coming to you live with my eyes looking like vaginas, that's what my one friend says when she doesn't wear lashes. Anyways, so I started bottle serving a year ago at this other club and I had kind of got like my foot in the door for an interview through a few of my friends that had worked there. I knew like two girls that had worked there. That one was like a panel interview, a big panel interview. I had no idea what the hell I was talking about. We'll get into that and I kind of just winged it and I got the job. Um, I immediately realized that I loved, loved bottle serving, especially because like if you're a normal server and then you start bottle serving, I think you'll quickly realize like I mean the difference in what you're making <laughs> and then secondly the labor it takes to be an actual server like that is like genuine physical labor not that I'm not like running around and rushing bottle serving on nights where it's like crazy fucking busy and it's so packed and you can't even get through the crowd like yes it gets crazy but I'm still doing 10 times less like actual physical labor anyways after a while i left that club just because of like management and the fact that it was a union job and because it was union they could basically like take me off the schedule anytime they wanted to if things were slow and they were trying to make budget cuts and i basically needed to fucking work more than i was and that was the problem there because they were also open during the week like a day club and so they were just fucking with my money, essentially, and just fucking with me. So I left there on a whim, and I got hired at Noto in Philadelphia. Come fucking see me. What the hell? Um, asked for a table with me, book a table with me, asked to be on my guest list. I'll hook y'all up. But whatever, yeah. So, like, that's just a little bit of my background. I still work there. I've been working at Noto now since... I don't know why I'm doing this. I've been working at Noto now since... August. I fucking love that job. Once you get into bottle service, like, if you're like me, bitch, you're never gonna want to stop. Like, that's the vibe of it. It's very addictive money. Let's talk about what bottle service, like, actually entails. Like, you have no idea what you have to do on the job. I'm gonna tell you. So, basically, it's usually only in clubs, but sometimes there's, like, some restaurants that, like, also do bottle service and whatever the hell but I'm just gonna be talking about clubs because that's all I know imagine you get your first table generally at each club um, they'll either have like a walkie-talkie in the back or you have radios on you at the first club I worked at there was just like a walkie-talkie in the back server area so we could hear when tables were being sat but at Noto we have like radios or whatever like in our ears and they'll tell us when a table was sat so at the beginning of each shift they'll make sections just like they do normal serving and you get called that you're getting sat so you go out to your table and you wait for the host um, and your party to arrive so the host generally or one of the hosts will lead your table over to you hand you over their credit card and their ID um, if they're paying in cash and there's no credit card and they also hand you like this piece of paper that says like their table number, it says their first name and last name, and it generally says like their minimum that they have to spend in the club. Basically, bottle minimums are like the required amount that someone has to pay for that table. So for example, if your minimum is 1500, when you're ringing up their drinkies, you have to make sure that they hit 1500 before the auto gratuity and the auto service charge and tax be explained once you start working but just to give you like an idea a little gist i promise don't be scared just for the fact that it's like big numbers because it's easy like there's really not any math that needs to be done mentally other than like 
when someone's giving you their order, try and be like tallying up in your head like how much it actually costs. Make sure that you're hitting your minimum. But of course, you can check that in the back. And if they didn't hit their minimum, go let them fucking know. I will say that the club that I work at right now, like when a table comes in, they have to immediately pay for like their full minimum, order all their bottles to hit that minimum, and cash out like immediately before the bottles are brought over. So basically they have to pay for it before their bottles are brought. At a lot of clubs, there'll be like server assistants, which are almost like, kind of think of them like a bar back slash like bus boy type of vibe, but they really are just like a, an assistant to the server. They will stock the table up for you, make sure you got cups, ice, mixers, which will usually be cranberry, pineapple juice, orange juice. They just basically make sure that your table is stocked. And at certain clubs, they'll help you bring out presentations and like hold the signs and stuff. At least that's how it is at my club. But you know, all clubs are different. Yeah. So your table sat. It's all set up by your server assistant or whatever the hell they call it at your club. As soon as the, the table gets set, you tell them, hi, how are you? I'm your server. I'll be taking care of you tonight. Your minimum is 1500 Do you have any idea like what bottles you wanted to do? And sometimes they need time, give them some time. I always ask them if they're celebrating anything. I kind of have an idea like if they want to do a sign, what I should put on the sign. If they do want to do one, you know what I mean? Straightforward and simple. You'll go in the back, put your order in, you know what I mean? Get the receipt signed. Some clubs have girls that just make the signs because sometimes they can get really, really busy. And when the servers have to make their own signs, like it can get a little hectic. Um, my old club used to have girls that did that and then they, I don't know if they fired them. I'm not sure what the fuck happened. I think they made a budget cut, if I'm honest. Um, and then so we didn't have them. We make all of our own signs. And at my club now, we don't have anyone. So we'll make all of our own signs, get our bottles ready in the back. Constantly going to be like pulled by the other girls and like asked to go out for presentations with them and like whatever the hell. And you just have to like, you know what I mean? Like communicate with your coworkers and ask them to help you because generally... Most clubs that I've heard of, everyone, bottle serving wise, pulls tips. Could be not the same everywhere, but that's generally what the fuck it's going to be. All that money is everyone's money. You know what I mean? So yeah, help your coworkers out as much as you can. Once you do your presentation, um, usually like, depending on how big the party is, but if it's a super big party, like of course someone else is going to stay with you and help you make drinks. But if it's super busy and no one can stay with you, sometimes you're going to have to be alone and you know what I mean? Make drinks for your table. A little pro tip, always have your shot glasses. You know what I mean? You could like literally make like ice cups with straws in them. You know what I mean? Just that way it's so much easier for you to like actually prepare the drinks, whatever. But it's super simple. Like you literally just ask people like, what the hell do you want? Because some sometimes they only got one bottle. So it's like, I don't even have to ask you what liquor you want, babe. It's just like, what freaking mixer do you want? And like at the end of the night, whatever, we clean all of our sections, scrub the bitches fucking down, and that's about it. Clock out, do all of our extra cleaning work. It's very simple and very fun, and it can definitely be really chaotic and crazy and a very fast paced so if you're not someone that's comfortable with that then i wouldn't say maybe it's the best job for you but if you are then bitch what the fuck so now just some tips on like finding clubs and interviews and stuff like that so one of my biggest tips is actually there's this um instagram page that I think is just called Cocktail Waitresses. I'm going to look it up right now. Um, it's Cocktail underscore Waitresses. There's like a bunch of pages like this. Hopefully it'll load. But pages like this will literally just like repost like bottle girls like from all around. Like the baddest bitches. Like you know what I mean? Like all the bottle girls want to get posted on this page. That's not the point of this though, that I'm bringing this up. The reason I'm bringing this up is that a lot of the times clubs that are hiring will be posted on here and a lot of clubs do like hiring events. Pages like this are great for finding out if certain clubs are hiring. If you have like clubs in your area that you're curious about and you don't know that they're fucking hiring, you can't find it on there, on other pages or like on their page it doesn't say 
go in there dm them dm their instagram like you know what i mean like you might think no one will see it but shit bitch someone fucking might don't get discouraged you'll find a place that'll take a chance and give you an interview just like put yourself out there um you never fucking know who's hiring even if it maybe doesn't appear like they are you never freaking know so let's talk about interviews once you get the interview what the hell do you wear what the hell do you do so obviously of course bring a resume and a nice picture of yourself but part of the requirement of things like you know what i mean like a model bartender or like a bottle server is that you're expected to be a cutie pie like unfortunately that's just the fucking case so a lot of the times cute little selfie of yourself or like you know what i mean like standing picture of yourself whatever bring a little pic and I would also say you don't have to like literally by any means you don't have to wear all black but for some reason it's just like ingrained in me but I will say that for my first club job I literally did not wear all black I wore like a white sweater and like jeans and heels but definitely definitely something with a little oomph to it when I had interviewed for Noto I wore an all black outfit I wore like a black romper black like crocodile boots like an oversized like black leather jacket black bag smoky eye you know what i mean like you want to look the part but you don't want to walk in looking like a whore go in there be confident so let's talk like interview questions and like things that they ask like a lot of times they want to know about like your personality if you have bottle serving experience like they want to know was it like a high volume place? Like what are you used to dealing with? Like, you know what I mean? Like, can you fucking work it, bitch? Um, or are you gonna cower and fucking cry in the corner once it gets a little crazy in the club? So they'll ask you about your experience. Some clubs will hire you without any experience. It just depends. So they might ask like random oddball questions not necessarily oddball like I mean it has to do with the job but they might throw in something to like you know put you on the spot so like they might throw in a question like oh like if someone's a go-to drink is whiskey like what bottle would you recommend familiarize yourself with that specific bottle menu if you can find it sometimes it's really hard to find like the bottle menus for clubs because they're generally like not posted online but if you can try to do that try to maybe like get a good idea of like some alcohols like you might not even be asked questions like that but it's just good to have like a general sense of stuff like that being as your whole entire job basically revolves around serving alcohol if you're not super familiar with different types of liquors just like literally look up on google like like the most popular types of tequila vodka whiskey cognac you already fucking know and yeah definitely just go into your interview being confident being yourself and i will say that i don't know i just feel like the all black is better like for bottle serving i don't know why i just feel like that fits for like the interview but i mean you can really wear whatever the fuck you want as long as it's serving cunt a little bit but it's not giving big whore you know what i mean like you still want to look professional you still want to look Keep it classy. Keep it classy, ladies, okay? Don't get involved in the drama. Sometimes there can be drama in nightlife. You're working with all girls. Like, that's how it is. But I will say, for the most part, at the club that I work at now, there's been no fucking drama. Like, I haven't had an issue with anyone. Um, and yeah, it's been fucking good. I guess I, like, didn't mention, like, what you do when you actually, like, come out with the bottles. But that's pretty, like, self-explanatory. Like, if you've ever been to a club. But... You go out and like a line with the girls you usually lead the line if it's your table and some clubs have lights on top of the bottles some clubs use sparklers my club uses sparklers so be careful because i burnt my thumb really bad um and now i have a huge scar but yeah like you bring out the bottles and it kind of depends on like your club i've seen some clubs do some like weird crazy shit but our club is just like one of these clubs Mm, 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 mm. I've seen some clubs where they like shake their whole body doing it. I don't know. Just hit a little beat. Make sure you're matching the person next to you so you guys don't look fucking crazy. Um, and then yeah, when the fucking sparklers go out or if you're using lights, you kind of like will judge the time and be like, okay, yeah, that was enough time. Let everyone get their videos in. Like, 
at the table because they usually will take videos of us and whatever the rest of the people will take the props back and then you'll start making the drinks I feel like I didn't touch on that so I just wanted to explain that and I guess quickly I'll talk about money <sighs> if you're not making majority of the time baseline five that club was ass because when I say there's money to be made like bitch there's stupid money to be made and I'm very appreciative of it appreciative for it and I truly do love bottle serving and I love my job um if you really want to get into like logistic logistic last weekend I made a thousand dollars in two days that's light work and then obviously it's rare where it's like really ass and you barely made anything you're taking home a pretty penny every night yeah go out there and be a bad bitch it's not as hard as you think to get in like maybe if you're in Vegas or Miami it might be hard to get into some places but actually if you're in Miami I know some promoters there so hit me up bitch I might be able to put you on to some fucking clubs hopefully that covers like a lot of the questions that people have I need to go to sleep I love you so so much thank you so much for watching my videos thank you so much for all the love on the last video I posted um, and if you have any other bottle service questions please comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can leave your comments below because I'm sure there is shit that I definitely missed but I feel like majority that covered a lot of it have a wonderful day night wherever the fuck you are wherever you're at and I'll be seeing ya when I see ya. Love ya!